Hello there. Now that didn't take long, did it? The knee bender got a Boris broadside. I did point out in a recent video that having an anti-Brexit, knee-bending, Huawei-pushing former BBC man as his new spin doctor in the form of Gito Harry might not have been the best idea Boris has had. But we were told Downing Street was bringing in capable and grown-up people to make sure the machine works better. Well, it certainly got a laugh, didn't it? And now we hear that Boris Johnson has had to give Guito both barrels in a bit of a tongue lashing over some gaffes on day one of his new posting, including some uh, unwelcome insights when talking to a Welsh language website, talking about singing I Will Survive in a duet with the Prime Minister during his first interview and saying that the PM isn't a complete clown and also claiming that Boris now regretted Brexit. As a communications expert, how he thought that would not go down like a lead balloon in number 10 is astounding. Anyway, one government source told the Daily Mail that the PM was a bit incendiary about all of this, and he added, This is not bloody rocket science. What he did was not helpful in the slightest. The PM gave it to him with both barrels on Monday afternoon and Gito has now said he will not be talking on the record again. It's fair to say the PM was not the only person he got it in the neck from. Not speaking on the record again, eh? And that's from number 10's new comms man. So when we hear in the future about quotes from an unnamed source saying that Boris has been clowning about and singing again, then we'll probably know where it came from, won't we? Now, by all accounts, Gito is a lovely man. But then again, we all know many wonderfully lovely people. But how many of them would you entrust with the task of advising the Prime Minister? Being lovely and being on the same page as the Prime Minister and being competent in your role, rather than being a complete blithering idiot, is a much more attractive proposition when it comes to the choice of right-hand comms man to the Prime Minister. But really, if all this happens on day one, what's the coming months going to look like? Do we have to drag up the armchair, beers and popcorn and enjoy some top-notch entertainment? So what's your opinion on Gito getting a verbal spanking? Please like and comment below. Please subscribe and like this video, buy a mug and support me on Patreon or PayPal and thank you for watching.